Okay, in this video, what I'd like to show is um, the reasons why I like to use an off before I do anything else and the, the stepping order of why I choose to use uh, certain uh, instructions before other instructions. Now, there is many different cases where, um, and you may go to a Rockwell class yourself and see where they just, or even see logic that uh, is running in your plant right now that just uses a a on they don't actually cut the system off before they do an on i always choose to uh, issue an off statement or an off instruction before i do anything else because basically you don't know for an it um you don't know for sure what state the current the, the controller is in um, at any given time where you could have lost um, communications, you could have lost uh, anything, you could have had some weird anomaly uh, happen, you don't know for a fact that, that the servo controller hasn't been told to run already or hasn't been told to cut on or could possibly be in a, a on state for some other control reason that, that you, don't, you, you weren't aware of. You want to make sure if you're trying to control it that you cut it off. Right, so it's just like a drive holding a an on bit or a drive holding a an active bit all the time, and you try to start it, it's not going to run. It's not going to do anything. So in this case, you want to cut it off first because you don't want to have any instruction faults, right? So I choose to always cut my system off first. Then I choose to come down here and control um, a reset. If I if I choose to do again. I separate out my resets because basically if there's a fault, uh, if, there's a, if there's a shutdown, like a motion system shutdown, then the shutdown status bit will come on and then it will issue the shutdown uh, reset. However, if the shutdown state, if the shutdown is good and there's no shutdown and the axis is faulted, then, then I just want to reset my axis. So therefore, I'm not actually doing both both of them at the one time, right? I'm only doing one. I'm only doing the one I need to, to do. Now, let's say there, that no, there's no access faults and everything's good. There's no shutdown status. Then I immediately go into where I can home it if I wanted to, or I can cut the servo on. Um, in this case, um, I would like to monitor my bus to make sure my bus is healthy, the bus of my servo controller that it's healthy. I like to make sure my axis is not in a false faulted state and I like to cut it on. And I'll, I'm not going to cut it on until the fact I'm not going to keep issuing an on statement. As soon as it cuts on, as soon as it cuts on the action status bit will come on and then this this will actually um, only issue one time. So as soon as the actions this is done, as soon as the the, the um, this instruction, the mo uh, motion at servo on is done, then basically I want to, you know, issue it to the next controlled state. But I don't want to do that until the, again, till the um, axis is truly on. So I, I look at the motion at, or the servo action status. And I'll show you that real quick. Let's just actually do that. Let's cut it. Uh, cut the system on. Let's go to a two. Now let's come in here and I'll cut the system on. And you see it only it only did it once, right? It didn't keep doing it. So therefore I just, you know, I don't need to do anything else. So now the system is armed. Um, and then I like to, like I said, if I wanted to cut it off, I can cut it off. The same thing, I look at the motion axis status, uh, the action status. Uh, and I say the motion axis, I, I, the action. Um, axis servo action status which in our case um, you know if I use the off button then the uh, you know it will basically cut it off but I like to monitor that state because I want to make sure my servo is truly doing what I told it to do and I only want to do it once I don't want to keep issuing it because it's just going to fault out the instructions and that's not healthy at all so um you know, to kind of, you know, just make a video and, and kind of show you why I choose to use certain functions before others. 
Uh, again, the stops and everything are pretty, uh, pretty apparent why I'm, I'm using those. Um, so the basic principle, and I get a lot of questions of why I do this. This is just, uh, in my eyes, uh, a, a tried and true process that, that is not going to fail. Uh, it's not going to fault out and error out an instruction when it doesn't have a problem. It's not going to falsely try to control something when it's not healthy and not able to be run. So using the proper bits in the right spot uh, is definitely the correct function. Um, and a lot of times people tend to ignore that and then you're going to have problems, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you've all went into a code or if you haven't, you will. And you see that you'll have an instruction error out for some reason. Well, that's because you're not monitoring the, the proper state of either your axis, your motion group, or your controller, which meaning your drive. So, um, you know, that's just a couple of things that I like to kind of, I definitely look at my foundational things that I do. And I, I just, I go by that pattern. Because if, if we look at it, if we did a, um, a motion axis direct command, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do an off, right? We're going to make sure it's off. We're going to make sure we fault reset it just to, just to do it, right? We're just going to make sure that the system is 100% healthy. And then we're going to do an on. So as soon as it cuts on, then we can actually do a jog or a MAM or whatever we want to do right but the very first thing we want to do is make sure we cut it off we reset it and then we cut it on so why would we choose to ignore those same things when we're we're trying to do that naturally that would just that wouldn't be right so i just i want to you know because i've had questions about this whether it be a message from udemy or through email or through my other platforms and I just wanted to clarify this so that everybody got a really, really good understanding. You need to choose to use the correct bits and the correct actions to, to get a proper and healthy, healthy system. So you don't have, you know, faults and, and just different things happening. So again, I don't want to ramble on, but I want to give you a good understanding, good teaching. And um, again, if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to me. I'll be more than glad to help you. So, I mean, that that's just, I, I mean, honestly, I, I built this course as try to be, to try to be the one of the best out there. Um, there are some people that choose to, uh, <laughs> I will say, choose to abuse the Udemy system, but, uh, and give falsely uh, negative reviews when this, this course is not a bad course at all. We all know that if you've been to this point right here, you should know this course is a good course. Um, and I will always answer your questions, so there's no reason to give a bad review. Um, but either way, it is what it is, and I just want to add value and try to teach people and do the, the proper thing and, and spread knowledge where I can. So again, thank you for being part of this course, and I hope you're enjoying it. And you feel free to reach out to me on this platform or in my, on my other platform, whether it be my website or uh, my YouTube channel or even my Patreon. I mean, I, whether you can reach out to me on any one of those, I'd be glad to help you. So again, thank you and carry on with the course.